this webinar about online booking and the Best of Queensland Experiences program. We've designed this webinar to provide you with an understanding of why and how online booking is considered in the Best of Queensland Experiences program. In this short presentation, we'll cover how consumers are using online bookings today and how tourism businesses benefit from online bookings. We'll also take you through how online bookings is benchmarked for the Best of Queensland Experiences program and also provide you with a link to some resources so that you can, if you need it, get some help with selecting and implementing an online booking system. So how are consumers using online bookings today? Firstly, let's set the context about the many pathways to purchase that a consumer can take, all of which are improved for the consumer if they can find detailed information about a business, its product, and are able to book there. Now, in these multiple pathways, Google plays a very significant role with over 65% of people saying that they always start their travel planning process by doing a search. And if consumers come through Google, they may come directly to your business and be able to book on your website, which is an excellent functionality for them and makes it easier for them. They may also come through Google and go to one of the many online travel agencies who also provide a great amount of information about different products and price and provide online booking. Consumers increasingly are turning to social media to be able to research businesses and experiences and destinations. And they may go directly to your business as a result, or they may in fact go to one of the online travel agencies who are ramping up their investment in social media marketing. We also can't forget the role of tier two intermediaries when it comes to the pathways to purchase. And importantly, tour desks in hotels, and visitor information centres play an important role, particularly when the traveller is already in destination and on their holiday, to be able to take bookings or direct them to your business. Largely, what we're trying to say here is that there are many different pathways that a consumer can take to purchase, and they will do many search sessions before they make their decision when planning quite a complex holiday. And all of those possibilities are improved. The chances of them booking are improved when they have great information and capability for instant booking. But let's have a look at online booking trends now. 50%, 7% of all travel bookings are made online and businesses with bookable websites report that that can be quite higher. And in fact, we have heard from businesses over the years that those with online booking on their website can be enjoying up to 90% of their business coming directly on their website. 65% of same day hotel bookings are made on a mobile and that demonstrates the convergence of mobile technology and online booking to make it easy for those travellers who are wanting to do a very short lead time on their booking. There has been continuing growth in online bookings. Over the last five years, we've seen 12.8% average year on year growth in online bookings. And it is projected that online bookings will continue to grow with an annual average growth rate of 8.5%. So where did the share of bookings occur? 65% of online bookings happen on brand websites. For example, marriott.com, or this could be yourbusiness.com. 19% on merchant websites, for example, Expedia.com, Booking.com, and 11% on opaque websites. And these are, for example, Priceline.com or Trivago, those websites that bring together a whole lot of choices for the one business, showing any different price points and the different points of sale where that product is available. So let's move on now and have a look at how tourism business businesses benefit from online bookings. The number one benefit is all about your customer because what it does is online booking functionality, if it's on your website, removes barriers to conversion for your customers. And that is why it is a criteria to participate in the Best of Queensland Experiences program. 
At the end of the day, it's just about good old fashioned customer service and giving the customer what they want and making their pathway to purchase easier. There are specific business benefits also, including you can collect payment up front with secure credit card functionality or a PayPal system. You can collect customer details for your customer database and email marketing. You get access to business analytics in the form of sales reports, uh, information to help you to yield, manage, and this can help you with your planning for seasons and different specials and pricing and also help you with your cash flow management. And of course you can display prices, availability, packages and specials on your website and on different distribution channels. Having an online booking system enables your business not only to distribute through your own website to get more direct business, but also to, to distribute through trade and industry partners. Very briefly, the leading accommodation online travel agencies particularly relevant for regional tourism would be these. Grouped together with Expedia are all of the brands that Expedia now owns. And you can also see here booking.com, which is now the leading travel agency group in Australia. For the first time in 2016, they outranked offline travel agencies as having the most users. We'd also list Airbnb here and TripAdvisor because of course you can now sell through TripAdvisor. It's not just a place for reviews and managing your reviews. Leading tours and activities, online travel agencies would include these brand names here. Viator is part of the TripAdvisor group and that's how TripAdvisor is able to sell tours and activities through their website. An online booking system is your first step to efficiently managing and distributing inventory. But you need technology to be able to do that and that's what the online booking system is. And there are many different accommodation system providers available to choose from and these are just a few. These are five of the better known names out of hundreds of technology providers for accommodation. Some of these systems have been built originally for a business and then have developed into a technology company in their own right. And some systems have been built for the industry at large. For tours and attractions, once again, there are many and these four are just an example, a few examples for you that you may have heard of. And tours and attractions has different requirements in terms of booking functionality as compared to an accommodation. And it's very rare that you would find that one system provides the functionality to do both types of products really well. Now, there are many considerations if you are looking to adopt an online booking system. And just touching on one of the main ones that businesses think about is costing. And these systems have different costing models and you need to check them out. You need to do your research and have a look at what their charging regime is. Some of them have a flat monthly software license fee. Some have a flat monthly fee, um, but that is tiered and is based on the number of rooms that you have, or it could be based on the number of bookings that you make in a historical time period. And this is typical for non-accommodation for tours. Some technology providers charge based on a percentage of the value of the booking, so more like a commission level. And if you are distributing through, through third party websites, you'll be paying that distributor commission as well. Now, price isn't the only consideration when choosing a booking system, and it is a big shift when you're moving off a paper-based system or even looking for a new booking system. You need to take into account a range of other things. In particular, you wanna have a look at usability for your customer. Is it a nice, smooth, easy process for them to do the booking? Does it provide you with capacity to put lots of 
good sized images in about your different experiences, services and products. And the data that you put in about them, the descriptions that you provide, etc., are they visible to search engines? That's very important. And also, do they have distribution capability to other on to other points of sale like online travel agencies? These are just some of the considerations. But let's move on now to have a look at how online bookings are benchmarked. The functionality is benchmarked in the Best of Queensland Experience program. The factors that are considered is firstly, we're looking for an online booking function on your website, that there is a page on your website that I can go to as a customer and start searching on price and availability and do the booking and payment on your website. At a minimum, what you might be providing is a link to your product on an online travel agency website. So you may not yet have implemented an online booking function into your website and into your business, but you do have a link to your listing on an online travel agency website. So the consumer can still do an online purchase. So thinking about your customer first, they could be wanting to do this booking at 10 o'clock at night. You're, you don't have the phone turned on at that time. You're not going to be responding to an email immediately with pricing information. They can't do the booking on your website, but at least they can go to an online travel agency and do it there. Now, how can we determine whether you have one of these two factors in place? It is through the existence of the data that you have in your Australian Tourism Data Warehouse listing. So in your ATDW listing about your business, um, you will have a URL, so a web link, in the booking URL field. And that could be going to the booking page on your website or the booking page on the online travel agency. The existence of, of this link in your ATDW listing will score you 15 points out of a potential 100 points to be able to participate in the Best of Queensland Experiences program. And best of all, it means that your customer when they want to book with you, is able to do that. Now, if you require some more information about how to choose and implement an online booking system, please go to this page, teq.queensland.com forward slash best of QLD experiences, and it will lead you on to helpful resources about online booking technologies and how to select the best one for your business. Thank you for watching and listening this webinar and we wish you every success for the growth of your business.